Hi, welcome to birthdaypartymagician.com. My name's Julian, and we're going to do a little bit of serious mind reading. Excuse me. <coughs> I didn't want that anyway. We're going to use four cards. Here's how it works. I'm going to get you to turn one of these cards around. It's like 180 degrees. And I'll turn around so you don't look. And just so you don't think I've got the cards arranged in an order, you can move the other ones a bit like that so I don't know which one. Here goes. Have you done it? Okay. Alrighty. Now, can I feel your hand? That's it? Just rub my hand? Ooh, because that way I can pick up your psychic vibrations. Here we go. It's like a little feel. Ooh, I'm feeling it. I'm honing in. I'm honing in. Oh, man, you are so predictable. You chose this card. How to do it. Now, the card box cough gag is a nice little way to start um, any card routine. So you take the cards out, you hold the box at the bottom with your thumb and your middle finger and your index finger simply flicks it out. So when you bring it up, you pretend you're going to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Leave your hand and your fingers like that because when the box disappears, it creates this gap and, and that helps create the illusion. All right, let's go and have a look at how the card trick works. Now this trick works because most people have never realized that if you look at a card and divide it in half, that one side is not a mirror image of the other side. It's really obvious if you look at this seven here. You see five of the pips are facing to the top and two are facing the other way. With the three, there's two one way, one the other way. And that's how it works. When you take the cards out, you line these pips up so they all face. In this case, we'll put them all the same way. So the big number of pips are all facing towards you, and the small number of pips are all facing towards me. So it's a simple matter of when a person turns a card around, if it's that card, when I look back, I just look for the one where the pips are turned around the other way. Now, it doesn't work with all cards. It doesn't work with a four. It doesn't work with any diamonds. It doesn't work with court cards, and it doesn't work with twos. These are the best ones, eights, sevens, threes, and nines. And when you have those cards at the start of the trick, you have them on top of the deck, and it doesn't matter which way you take the cards out and turn them over and put them out, they'll all be facing one way. And you just look for the card that's facing the other. It's that easy. And this is what makes it a really good trick. It's the element of surprise. So if they choose this card here, you make out that you're going to show one of these other cards as their selected card. So remember I touched their hands and I pretended I was feeling the psychic vibrations of the card? And I honed down onto this card here and I said, it's so obvious, you chose. And at the last minute, I shoot across and push that card forward. It's the element of surprise that adds a little bit of theatre and a little bit of drama to your card tricks and makes them a whole heap better. And there's one more thing I want to tell you. When you put the cards into the box at the start, the four cards you use go on top of the deck. Now, if this deck you use for the next trick called finding a card with your nose, if you have those all stacked in that box, you've got a little routine ready to go in the box. Remember, if I can do it, you can do it.